God never chooses a man that is prepared. He prepares a man he chooses. Hi, I'm Pastor Tony Barhu from Living Faith World Ministries in Daytona Beach, Florida. Thank you for joining us this morning. Hey, uh, Pastor, how you doing this morning? Good, sir. How are you? Good. So today, um, um, talk about uh, your main message. It was a great, powerful message today. You were talking about getting over the Jordan. Um, talk about more, of, expand upon that exactly. What you're well, one of the things I want uh, us to understand is that, you know, we try to prepare ourselves to get into the ministry, prepare this, but, but God does things a little different. Right. He chooses the man and he prepares him to get into the ministry, just mm -hmm. like David or uh, Elijah or one of them, uh, he prepares us. Right. Uh, um, the message focus today was arise. He's talking mm -hmm. about from where we are, not to maintain where we are, but God wants us to go to another level. Right. The first word that God spoke to Moses was go down to Egypt. Mm -hmm. We are not a generation that's going down. Right, right. First word he spoke to Joshua was to arise, mm -hmm. go over and possess the land. And so wherever we are in life, God wants us to get over from where we are and arise. Right. There are greater, bigger, and better things waiting. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the thrust of the message. Yes. And we're, we're going to go in more detail at our 11 o'clock service. Yes, I know it's still right. early, and I want you to come be with us at the 11 o'clock. You can get a fullness and feel the glory and the anointing. But God don't want you to be stagnated. He has better. Listen, the Egyptian Israelites that came out of Egypt, yeah. They didn't know war. Right. Yeah. They wandered in the wilderness. Correct. They wasted their lives. Uh, they, they, they were in a place that they didn't believe God. Mm -hmm. You know, they had, a, they had a sea miracle to believe. Right. The right. Joshua generation believed and saw miracles. They were the one that went across the Jordan. And they were the one that possessed the land and did the things of God. We are the generation now that God is using to do that. So that seems like someone who um, embodies in, like obedience, really like trusting in God. Um, so like, Pastor, what does that look like in a practical sense? Like when, uh, uh, as a daily life of a Christian, what does that look like? Yeah, well, you know, it's a faith walk. When we have faith in God and we know that God is speaking to us and leading us, we need to follow, obey. Yes. And so faith and obedience go hand in hand for us to receive our miracle. Right, right. He told, God told Abraham, walk the earth, the length and the breadth of it. This was in the book of Genesis chapter uh, 13. And he said, verse 17, he said, go walk the length and breadth of it. And he said, wherever you go, when you arise to get there, I'll give you the land. Mm. Listen, we can do anything through Christ who yes. strengthens us. Yes. And sometimes we sit there and say, I can't do it. Uh, I, 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 I'm better off where I'm at. It's easier for me to go back. Mm -hmm. That's what the enemy wants. No, yes. God created you for be better. Yes. He created us for victory. He created us mm -hmm. to conquer, to possess the land. Right. We can become anything we want to become yes. with God's help. Yes, we we become teachers and doctors and lawyers and attorney and politicians and business owners and entrepreneurs. We can be anything. Don't settle where we are. Right. He wants us to get up and do something. Right. And there's nothing too hard for God, of course. That's, Absolutely. that's something we know as a Christian. Like That walk, it's nothing that's impossible when you have God walking because God is always going to be with you. And he I, says that. Yeah, you know? he certainly does. And then he brought, brings us to a place, listen, he, so symbolic, symbolically. From the Old Testament, when the Israelites were coming across, before they get to the promised land, their old self had to die out. So it mm. symbolically spoke yes. that they took 12 stones from, from that side of Egypt, brought it into the Jordan, yes. left it there. Yes. In the Jordan, they picked up 12 new stones and erected it on the other side, symbolic of coming out stronger, better on the other side. Yes. So what God wants us to do is not just settle for where we are, but go to the next place that he has for us. Right. So what do you think? What do you think? Um, like, share, and subscribe. Um, we're here for you. Make sure that you um, look at our page. And but, uh, Tony, do you have anything else to say? No, we love you guys. Thank you so much. Share it with somebody. Please like us. Share it with somebody. Get you 10 more views. We got some more stuff coming. If everybody that's viewing get at least 10, maybe 20, maybe you have 100 friends. Uh, share it with everybody. We love you guys. I'll see you soon.